Hey guys, what's going on? It's Panzer Dragon. Today we got another video. Today we got a sneak preview of Udu Rework, which is actually in Legends of Rune Terra. Yes, it is really weird. <laughs> I never saw it coming, but they're basically bringing Udu Rework to Rune Terra. And so far we know that his Q is going to be Volley Bear's uh stance you know bear stance boar is going to be the new turtle stance uh to represent i think it was uh, sejuani ram is going to be his new e stance which is orn uh flame e and the phoenix is going to be Ky cairo phoenix oh yeah this is a nivea right so it's going to be an icr he's going to represent basically four champions from failure and of course we know all of this uh so far he basically looks like this and his end game is probably gonna look something like this he kind of looks like a homeless man but you know, I don't know, it might change, and obviously we all know this, but it's time to get into the real thing. This is the Rune Terra trailer that they already released, and Jesus Christ, you can see Splash Art looks insane. So maybe we can get some hints from the Rune Terra trailer to see what he's all about. Let's get started. Gather spirits, gather. Spirits of the land, hear my call. We will show them where their spells can help. For me, the spirits dance. Husk? We Husk. follow the old ways. Oh my god. Fire Ram! You oh. could have fought by my side. Oathbreaker, you should have fought beside Sejuani's. Okay. Iron Boar! Okay. Old gods, hear me! Wow. I can't wait for the level up. The spirits gather! Oh, wow. Every sand swap empowers you. Oh. I see the beast inside, okay. Shaman. Unleash it! For Sejuani, for the Winter's Claw! What? Stand and fight! This is our path. Miss Claw! Alright, this champion, I mean, in Ruter looks really OP. The gods have spoken. So, first off, Jesus Christ, they put a lot of effort into this game with adding new visuals for Sejuani and Udyr. Like, I wish this game was popular. Unfortunately, it's not. I don't know why. Uh, something with the marketing things. But let's go and look at this video from the beginning, right? So we have stance swap, and there's some Easter eggs that we can probably think that are coming to his abilities in the future. So we have stance swap when I'm summoned or strike, create a stance. Yeah, I've played it before. Uh, Reduces its cost to zero, and then if that was enemy nexus seven times this game, so five cost for four. Um, now there's something interesting when we get to the stances, right? So we have bear stance, which is going to be volley bear, wild claw stance, boar stance, ram stance. Uh, weirdly enough, there's no uh, phoenix stance, right? We we were thinking they were going to do a Nivea, but. Is this Nunu? -nu? <laughs> like we have Volley Bear, we have uh, Sejuani, and this has to be Orn. But Wild Claw, I mean, sorry, this literally looks like Nunu -nu to me, or it could be like Trondo. Um, you might not see Cairo Phoenix. Uh, you might see this. So what does this do? It gives an ally plus two plus two, but mm, it seems like a like obviously it seems like you're giving a person a buff i can't really base it off there boar is going to be your w your turtle stance uh ram i'm guessing is going to be like your aoe phoenix stance this one you get get ally overwhelm i mean i mean i'm just theory crafting but still uh you give an overwhelm so i'm guessing this could be your noose uh, i'm like trying to figure out what these suggest right because i know this is going to be your mauling and stuff and this would be whatever but the other thing that i found really interesting was i think they give a sneak preview of his passive uh not this one sorry it's gonna be right here every stance swap empowers you so basically 
if you look at this when i'm summoning a strike create a stance one if you have one reduces cost to zero i have plus one plus one for each stance you've cast in this game but i'm thinking when you switch between stances just like monkey agility which uh gives you attack speed and uh movement speed the more times you switch to phoenix to, sorry the boar to wild claw whatever or to bear um it's gonna empower him so maybe it's gonna cap out like nine kind of like monkey agility uh I'm not sure what his passive is. Maybe that's where they're putting the Phoenix passive. I'm not too sure, right? It's called Monkey Agility. But yeah, maybe it goes to a stack of three to nine. And the more times you switch between your stances, the more empowered you get. So maybe you see some kind of super Udyr on, on the future passive. Um, that's what I'm guessing, though. Again, it's all theory crafting. I could be wrong. But yeah, I mean, this Udyr we have, literally, you get more movement speed and attack speed. So maybe you're going to get more tankiness or movement speed again and attack speed probably not attack speed but i feel like they're gonna make you a bit more amped up anyways though that's it for this video i was so shocked to kind of like see this coming out and obviously splash art looks really cool uh the level up look at this again one more time so cool and i'm pretty hyped for this rework i'm guessing everyone's gonna be happy trick to g is gonna pop off with his videos and streams so again, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Peace out. So another thing I have to add also is if you look at his splash art, you have the tiger, you have, uh, it could be bear boar. I'm not sure. You have a raven. Um, this looks like an owl and, oh, sorry. There's the boar, probably bear. Okay. There's a lot of birds. Okay. That's right. And I think this could be Phoenix. Um, so i'm already counting one two three four five six seven eight animals um they could definitely do a lot with this obviously right but obviously they need to do volley bear horn uh, nivea and sejuani oh lissandra rash i don't know i, I know they have to keep, they have to do like animal spirits right so i uh, there could be a lot of options they take for the League of Legends version of Udyr, but yeah, they give a lot of hints here, and this kind of makes my mind go, because I don't know what they're going to do, and I can't predict it, but yeah, I mean, those are the two hints right there. Probably what we're going to see in May or June. Yeah, I looked it up. It's May or June. Uh, sorry. I, I mean, I literally just Googled it. It's May or June 2022, and yeah, that's the end of the video. See you guys. <laughs> Star and former pro wrestler John Cena has touched off an international controversy. Cena apologized to the people of China after calling Taiwan a country during a promotional interview with a Taiwanese broadcaster. Taiwan is a country. I mean, it, it, it's, it's an independent country. John Cena is not alone in Hollywood in towing that line. <laughs> A late show has acquired the full apology. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音